Dear learners, welcome to UGC MOOC. I, Dr. Prashant Gautam from Punjab University, Chandigarh, welcomes you to the UGC MOOC on Tourism Planning and Sustainable Development. Our topic of today is about LK Jha Committee 1963. The learning objectives of today's topic are to know about the recommendations of LK Jha Committee and about the Indian Tourism Development Corporation, ITDC. So on 1st March 1958, in the Ministry of Transport, a separate department was created to deal with all matters concerning tourism. This new department started working under the charge of Director General. He was assisted by one Deputy Director General and four Directors, each in charge of administration, publicity, travel relation and planning and development. The tourism was growing at a good pace, but it was in 1961-62, there was a decline in tourist traffic to India from 1,39,804 to 1,34,036. This prompted the government to take action and government appointed an ad hoc committee on tourism in March 1963 under the chairmanship of Shri L.K. Chha. Dear learners, now let's have a look on the recommendation of this L.K. Chha committee. This L.K. Chha committee was formed in March 1963 under the chairmanship of Shri L.K. Chha to see that why there was decrease in the number of tourist traffic to India. As a result, several steps were taken. There were opening of additional tourist traffic offices abroad in order to create more awareness about India as a tourist destination globally so that proper marketing and promotion can be done and more and more international tourists can be attracted to India which would also help in increase the number of inbound tourists to India. The grant of lending permits on arrival to tourists coming without visa for more than 72 hours or visa on arrival which would make the process of getting a visa easier for international tourists and encourage more and more tourists to travel in India. Setting up of three government corporations to develop hotels transportations and entertainment facilities. Hotels. More hotels and other accommodation facilities should be developed in order to give world-class facilities to both national as well as international tourists. And focus should be more on increasing international hotel chains in India. Transportation. A separate corporation or a body should be formed in order to improve and develop the existing transportation within the country, for example, airways, roadways, railways or waterways, which also helps in connecting different tourist circuits in country and would also help in the improvement of transport sector and increase in the accessibility of the destinations. Entertainment facilities. For improvement of the entertainment facilities in the country, the committee suggested to form a separate corporation which would look after the improvement and development of entertainment facilities like shopping malls, cinema hall, nature park, water park for children, sound and light show at various monuments, etc. Need to build 5,500 room additional hotel rooms within the next year this need was also felt. The LK Jha committee suggested to develop more infrastructure for accommodation like hotels of different categories 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 star deluxe, motels, cottages, homestays and accommodation units like bed and breakfast etc. In order to fulfill the demand of international tourists of all categories and to overcome the problem of less occupancy so as to give choice for tourists to choose their accommodation accordingly and fulfill the 
existing demand and also meet the international standards. Official approval of restaurants, shops and guides. The government should give or allow official approval for starting up restaurants, cafes and other food units, souvenir shops and guides. License should be made easy and simple. Less formality should be there to start a small business or enterprise in order to fulfill the demand of various tourists traveling from abroad to various parts of India, which would give enough choices to tourists at different tourist destinations throughout the country. Committee suggested that more encouragement should be given to international food chains and language speaking guides and other international brands so as to meet the demand and fulfill the international standards. Committee suggested that provision of shopping and entertainment facilities must be there. Al Kejha Committee also made provisions for improvement and development of shopping areas and malls and other entertainment facilities like nature park, pubs, fun park, casinos, cinema hall, etc. Keeping in mind to overcome the demand of leisure tourists. In order to maintain a sufficient shopping and entertainment facilities, certain provisions were given by the committee. Improvements of facilities at airports. Improvement of various facilities like restaurants, cafes, proper toilets, lobby and small shops and waiting areas at various airports throughout the country should be kept in mind in order to maintain a world-class standard. Provision of adequate connectivity by Indian airline. Focus was on improving the professional level of the Indian airlines which would help in improving the connectivity with the other parts of the world and accessibility in the country to organize a safe travel for tourists traveling to India or outside. Committee suggested about integrated development of few selected tourist centers. This was related with the opening of tourist centers at all major tourist destinations, which would help in providing services and information to tourists about the various tourist attractions and things to do at different tourist attractions. And tourists would get correct information and quality services. Increase tourist publicity. There is a need for tourist publicity, both at national level and at international level. Proper steps should be taken in marketing and promotion of India as an around the year destination at a global level. Tourism products like heritage, culture and customs, geographical features, cuisine, dance forms, music, etc. should be showcased through various tools like print media, social media, TV, commercial, by organizing different events which could help to cater more number of both domestic and international tourists. Training of immigration and custom staff. Proper facilities for training of immigration and custom staff should be encouraged so as to develop world-class immigration facilities and custom staff in country. LK Jha committee also focused upon stoppage of leakage of foreign exchange. They suggested that there should be a check on leakage of foreign exchange earning through international tourists. Certain committees should be formed who can keep an eye on the leakage and maintain a stoppage on these practices. In the year 1965, a high level co coordination committee was appointed to implement the recommendation of the JHA committee in the industry. As a result, three separate corporations were set up in India to tackle the problems arising, which were as follows Tourism Corporation Limited. Tourism Corporation Limited was set up to look after the various tourism happenings in the country. Their role and responsibility was to set up certain standards and rules and regulations for tourism related activities in the country and look after the problems arising in the industry. Second was Hotel Corporation of India Limited HCIL. 
Hotel Corporation of India Limited was set up in order to look after the hospitality sector within the country. Their responsibility was to set up certain standards and set of rules and regulations which are to be maintained or followed by each hotel in the country and also look after the malpractices happening in the hospitality industry. India Tourism Transport Undertaking Limited India Tourism Transport Undertaking Limited was established in order to fulfill the demand of the transportation. All sort of transportation were included in airways, roadways, railways, waterways in the country and their role was to set up certain rules and guidelines which are to be followed by all and also to maintain certain standards and try to overcome the various malpractices happening. Due to some problem and poor coordination amongst them, these three corporations did not seem to be working well and they failed to maintain standards and lately they were therefore amalgamated into one corporation with effect from 1st of October 1966. The new corporation was called India Tourism Development Corporation Limited. Dear learners, let's summarize this topic. This LK Jha committee focused on development of various sectors like transportation, accommodation and entertainment facilities in India in order to meet the expectation of the international tourists traveling to India. The focus was overall development of accommodation, transport, entertainment facilities, airports, etc. LK Jha committee also gave suggestions for promotion of India as all round, year round destination in the overseas market. They also recommended or suggested for the establishment of three corporations related with Tourism Corporation Limited, Hotel Corporation of India Limited, Transport Corporation of India Limited for the development of the tourism industry. Later on, there were some problems and poor coordination. Sometime, they, they intervene into each other another's work. Therefore, these organizations did not seem to be working well and they failed to maintain standards. And lately, these were amalgamated into one corporation with effect from 1st of October 1966. The new corporation was called India Tourism Development Corporation Limited. Since the establishment of ITDC, it has been playing a crucial role in the development of hotel and resort, providing transport, entertainment, shopping and conventional services and also act as consultancy come manager services in India and abroad. It has been playing a crucial role in marketing and promotion of tourism also. Thank you.